reasons. The reasons why I don't use these palettes. The reasons that I'll never reach for these. These palettes here. guys welcome back okay so yes you will see this makeup look in a couple of videos because I'm filming multiple videos today <laughs> okay and also I'm sorry if you can hear my fan which I know you can because it's right here it's still hot in Cali even though it's like the middle of September and you know everybody is busting out the fall stuff honey it's still triple digits in Cali okay <laughs> So, got my fan going. But anywho, so today's video is going to be another one that's kind of themed around brands of makeup or palettes specifically that I have in my collection that I don't use or I haven't used or I'm not drawn to. And I just kind of want to go through those palettes because I'm still trying to figure out why <laughs> for some of the brands. Some brands I know why I don't reach for them. But other ones, I'm kind of like, how come I never reach for these palettes? So, today's brand is BH Cosmetics, okay? Now, when I first started my channel and first started really getting into makeup and trying to boost up my collection, I was buying all kind of BH Cosmetics palettes and stuff because they're affordable, cheap. Um... A lot of them had, you know, large quantities of pans. So there's a lot of different colors in them. They had palettes that are like all shimmer, palettes that are all matte, you know, and then they've kind of started evolved over time. And honestly, I feel like their formula is getting better. Their palettes are getting better. So I have decluttered a lot of BH Cosmetics palettes. I mean a lot because of the fact that the quality was not as nice as other palettes that I have in my collection now. But I've also started to purchase from them, well, certain things, like certain palettes that come out, I'll be like, okay, now I gotta try that. You know, like their ice cream collection and stuff like that. I had to try those, okay? But I'm a lot more strategic in picking the palettes that I order from BH Cosmetics. I really don't order from them a lot anymore and that is why because their quality has not been the best in the past. So let's just jump right in and start looking at some of these palettes because I really don't know why it is I don't use these palettes, okay? Now the first two that I have here are from the It's My Ray Ray collection. You know she came out with two different palettes and let's take a quick look at this first one this one is her first one that she came well the first one that i know about i don't know if she had any prior to this but this is the first one that i know about with ray ray and bh cosmetics and i was really excited about this palette when it came out because it also had um you know the contour and the highlighters and all that good stuff along with the shadows now looking at this palette today if they had dropped this palette today, I wouldn't have bought it because I'm more in tune with my taste and what I like and all that good stuff. So I definitely wouldn't have bought this today if it dropped because this is not enough and this is not enough to make me buy this palette. But at the time, I felt like, oh, some pretty shades in there. You know, you got your purple, your burgundy, you got your black, some pretty shimmers. But I also have, you know... A contour and some highlighters and for some reason that excited me at the time <laughs> but I literally never reach for this palette what I think I really need to do because of the fact that I wouldn't really go for these type of shadows in this stage of my makeup journey is I need to just put this with my face products you know either put it in my contour drawer or put it in my highlight drawer so that I can at least pull it to use it for that and then maybe I'll use some of these eyeshadows because it's more likely that I will use this for the face products than the eyeshadow, you know what I mean? So yeah, I don't know if this is going to make it through the next declutter. I love supporting, you know, fellow content creators and especially women of color, but 
Yeah, it's just sitting in my collection and it's like, for why? For why? <laughs> Now, now this next palette here that it's my Ray Ray did with BH Cosmetics, much more colorful as you can see, much more up my alley. Beautiful, beautiful shades. I really enjoyed using it. As I mean, you can see I have these colors on my eyes today, basically. But I never, ever remember this palette. Never think about it. Never remember it. I mean, it performed nicely enough i do have a video using this if you're curious but yeah it performed nicely enough but i don't know i really really don't see myself gravitating to this and it's because i have so many other palettes that i would think of before this one to use these colors you know they're very specific colors and I really, really like larger palettes that have a lot of different colors in them because I like to have options. It's just my personality. You know, when I sit down, I like to have options. So that's why I don't really do well with small palettes, like the little elf ones and stuff. They're bomb, but I'd rather take all of them and, and mix them together to use them. So now these two palettes so anyways the it's my Ray Ray palettes might not make it through the next declutter i'm just thinking they won't these two palettes here i purchased i don't know maybe within the last six months or so whenever they first came out from bh cosmetics and i totally felt like i got bamboozled with these palettes because they are so freaking tiny okay i don't know if you're familiar with how small the It's My Ray Ray palette, palette is, but her palette is pretty small. And these palettes, look at this. Look, it's like, this is the size of this palette compared to the It's My Ray Ray palette, okay? So if you know how small her palette is, then you know this is tiny. Like these um, pants are basically like dime size. So I totally got fooled by the picture on Ulta because I bought these from Ulta I totally got fair, fooled by the pictures because I thought it was a regular size palette and I hate teeny tiny pans it's like it's super hard you can barely get your brush into it and not only that if you try to swatch it with your finger it's like your finger is covering it it's just uh uh I don't like pans this small now while there are some really pretty shimmers in here which is honestly what drew me to this palette was the colors of the shimmers but even just swatching it right now is annoying me because the pans are so small but the shimmers you know are really quite pretty they really are what is the name of this palette this is the digital future palette <laughs> so yeah i got fooled i thought i was getting like a big normal sized palette that had beautiful shimmers in it i wasn't really tripping off the lightness of the mattes but after i saw the size of this palette it just totally turned me off and i was like i don't even want to use them i should have just returned them to be honest with you because i don't think they were that cheap but let me just swatch these so it's like they're really pretty but they're definitely not anything better than i have like in my singles or even other palettes at this point in my collection so i feel like i'll probably end up giving both of these away now this one is the romantic nomad very very cute look at that very pretty and these are the colors in here so same thing beautiful shimmers beautiful color story and you know i wanted to try them out but honey these pants <laughs> it's so annoying look at this look at this <laughs> these pants are just too small so i would rather just give it away to someone who would actually really like it and really appreciate it because for me honey yeah no i'm never gonna use these baby palettes ever okay so these are what are these 16 pans yeah these are all my 16 pan palettes from BH cosmetics and honestly these palettes are gorgeous gorgeous and bomb this one is the avocado toast purchased this you know like right when it came out i was like oh my gosh that's so gorgeous the greens in there are beautiful yes 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 I swatched it and really got excited and never even used it 
never even used this palette and I'm just like why it's really really pretty and honestly I think it would be great for fall even right now so I think I'm probably gonna add this to my little palettes fall palettes over here so I can at least see it and try to use it but yeah I definitely want to use this palette do not want to get rid of that this is the beautiful in Barcelona now I did a little video a swatch video as well as an eye look using this palette you guys it is so pretty so so gorgeous it's not like your super bright colorful palette but these shades beautiful the shimmers oh my goodness now this one down here listen listen Linda listen gorgeous so so pretty I did a whole eye look you know just based around that shimmer it's like that black with the glitter in it it's so beautiful for just like a smoky eye or a late night you know date night just is beautiful I really really love it it's gorgeous so yeah I'm not getting rid of that Ooh, that's pretty <laughs> Now this palette I haven't used yet. I actually forgot I had it, okay? This is the Smitten in Switzerland. Very cute. And I know I got this one because I was like, so getting so addicted to the 16 pan palettes from them. The shadow quality is bomb. And the color stories are so pretty to me. I really, really love their whole travel series. You know, the beautiful in Barcelona, this one the smitten in switzerland and this one which i'm going to show you next is my favorite this is the trendy in tokyo gorgeous i was completely shocked by this palette completely shocked bam <laughs> y'all know this palette oh my goodness it just took my heart away it is so so gorgeous and i was really really shocked at the quality of these shadows i did do a video using this palette I was shocked I mean the swatches was like okay and then the eye look was like okay so yes this is just like really really good palette I don't even know if they sell this anymore but if they do or you find it on sale I would say grab it if you are looking for an affordable colorful palette and you don't have any already that's a good one now this I picked up <laughs> I don't know why I bought this it's like I felt like when I bought it, I knew I wasn't going to use it. So I don't know why I bought this. You know, I think I was just, sometimes shopping is therapeutic for me. And so I'm buying stuff and I'm like, oh, that's pretty. I want to buy it. I'm, it feels good. You know, it's like makeup is a drug for me. Okay, it really is. I'm not even going to print. I, it's a drug. But yeah, I don't know why I bought this. This was the Lavi Dunn Prince <laughs> palette that... Um, BH Cosmetics did with Lavi Dunn Prints and it's actually a really pretty palette. It really, really is. It's gorgeous. Perfect for summer and spring. You know, it has the bright colors in here. So honestly, I really need to just use it. So, you know, and then it, I will know whether or not I want to keep it. If the formula is trash, then I'll get rid of it. But I might find a gem that I really, really like. So, yeah. I, I don't know. I didn't need this, but I got it. So I'm going to try it. This. Oh my goodness. This is the Fairy Lights palette. And look, I know I got this palette because my girl Lily did a look with this palette. And I was like, I want it. Okay. So yeah, this is the Fairy Lights palette. I just had to have this palette. Had to have it. It was like, oh my gosh. It's so gorgeous. It's so beautiful. It's so pretty. And I mean, really, it's just a neutral palette with some blues and a couple of pops of pink in it. It's really not all that. But I feel like, you know, maybe the packaging, because you see the packaging has this beautiful, you know, just shimmery, glittery look to it. And, you know, you can feel the texture, but it doesn't come off or anything, but you can feel the texture. But I just had to have this palette and was like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to use it. And I think what turns me off about this palette is just the fact that it feels so cool tone to me. If it just feels so cool tone and I'm not really with the cool tone, it don't really go with my whole vibe. So that kind of turns me off, but I'm kind of feeling like 
I need to use it. I don't know if this is going to make it through the next declutter, just being quite honest. I haven't used it, swatched it, or anything, but I don't know if this is going to make it through my next declutter because I really have no desire to use it. Okay, so next I have here the Midnight Festival. Okay, now I had the first, what was it, Carnival palette from them, and I don't know why I gave it away. That palette was bomb, okay, and I really, really liked it. It's so pretty, but I gave it away. I think I gave it to my niece, so if I did, I'm really glad I did because, you know, I don't mind if she has it, but... This palette is not as nice to me as the first like carnival or festival palette that they did. This one is pretty, but not as nice. It has like the packaging with the, uh, what is it, fireworks on there or whatever. I don't know if you can see them shifting or whatever, but yeah, it has like the little fireworks on there. And it's a really pretty palette. It really is the glitters. It has glitters in here, beautiful glitters. But if you're not into glitter, <clears throat> then this palette won't do it for you. But there's pretty glitters, some pretty shimmers in here, and some, you know, beautiful bold pops of color. I really, really love the eye look that I created when I used this palette. I do have a video for this too. If you're curious, check it out. But, mm, I don't know. I could see myself using this again, quite honestly. This green and this blue, those are colors that are really, really pretty to me. I love those bright greens and blues i actually really like the glitters too to be honest with you those are gorgeous as well and yeah this would definitely make the cut because i could see myself using this again i just have to put it somewhere where it's in my face you know so yeah I'm not getting rid of that now this first of all i never should have bought it second of all i should have gave it away a long time ago Third of all, I hate that I didn't because it's probably expired. <laughs> this is the updated Carly Bible palette. Now, I didn't get the first one. This one is the deluxe edition. And this was a total bandwagon palette for me. It was just like, everybody is talking about the Carly Bible. Everybody has the Carly Bible. I need to get the Carly Bible. Honey, no, I didn't. No, I most certainly did not. <laughs> Y'all, look at this palette. Look at this. Can y'all tell me why in the world I bought... Why? Why? Okay. <laughs> I mean, the highlighters at the bottom are gorgeous, but honestly, I could only probably get away with these two right here. The rest of the palette is just like super blah, super bland. Not anything I would ever reach for or you know i feel like would ever even really look good on me so yeah this was a total waste of money i mean i'm sure that somebody would still use it <laughs> you know because i mean i haven't even swatched this it's brand spanking new so i'm sure it's probably nothing wrong with it but yeah no that was a complete waste of money now these next two palettes i only got a, a few more these next two palettes i don't know why i don't use these like are you kidding me i don't even know if i use them i think i used this one once one time i think i used which one of the no 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 i take that back I think I used the original Zodiac one time. The Love Signs, never even used. So let me take a look at this <clears throat> Zodiac um, palette because, I mean, this definitely needs to be decluttered. <laughs> I mean, the colors are pretty, but I feel like the reason why I'm not drawn to it is because there's not enough bold, bright, beautiful mattes in here. It's like a whole lot of purple and a whole lot of warm tones and then just a bunch of shimmers. And don't get me wrong, honey, BH Cosmetics shimmers are the bomb. And, you know, like I said, I definitely have used this at least once. You know, I know I've used it at least once. But their shimmers are the bomb. And the mattes in this palette, I guess, are okay. You know, I don't really have a recollection of them. See? they're gorgeous but it's like for me for my personality these shimmers don't have enough punch you know they don't have enough boldness for me to really enjoy them if I mix them with like another 
you know deeper brighter bolder shades then yeah I, I can work with it but I'm typically not a two or three palette user type person I like to use one palette and go about my business so I think that's probably why I don't use this is because it is just a bunch of purple and warm tones and then a bunch of beautiful shimmers that you know <laughs> so yeah this is definitely going to be decluttered um yeah I don't I don't, yeah in my next declutter I can see that going unless I have some type of sentimental feeling about it which right now I don't so this one is the love signs look at this packaging you guys isn't that pretty so gorgeous and I think this one really actually called to me more because at least there's some pops of blue and teal in here to go along with the beautiful shimmers, you know. So this one actually speaks to me more. So I feel like if I had to choose, I would actually keep this one instead of that one. Because if I want a purple matte, I can easily grab a purple matte. But yeah, this one, um, yeah, I have not used this one yet and ooh, that gold oh my gosh it looks so gorgeous i haven't <laughs> i haven't used this one yet and honestly i need to i do i need to these palettes they really do have really really pretty shimmers in them but those are some horrible swatches sorry you guys <laughs> they really do they have some gorgeous shimmers in them but listen linda <laughs> I'm just, I'm just not, I don't know. So those are some better swatches, a little bit better. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with these palettes. I just, you know, some palettes just don't call to you. But this one, I think, will call to me before that one. Maybe I should use them in conjunction with each other because looking at these shimmers, you know, it's giving me a nice variety with both palettes you know this one has a little more purples and blues this one da, 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 da. so maybe maybe that's what i need to do i need to use them as a unit of two palettes combined into one okay now this palette i actually purchased not too long ago and i did not need to get this palette you guys but what my thinking was when i purchased this palette and this one is the ultimate matte shadow palette so this is just 42 matte shades nothing but mattes now my thinking was because i was amping up my um singles collections with all the duo chromes and multi chromes and shimmers and all that stuff because a lot of times i won't buy mattes from certain brands for singles i just want to try their duo chromes and their multi chromes and i'm like okay now if i sit down with a certain palette that has all of my you know shimmers from a certain brand and i need mattes then i could just grab this palette i don't have to grab a whole bunch of other palettes i could just grab this palette and i'll have whatever mattes that i need or want to go with my shimmers like that was my thinking like i don't have enough mattes in every other palette that i have <laughs> yeah, i know crazy right just an excuse or reason to buy a palette but yeah and i wanted to just have a all matte palette that has a pretty decent range of shades which this does it has you know your light bright shades over here and has you know your deeper kind of earth tone shades down here your bright pops of blue and a whole bunch of stuff that i will probably never use but that is why i bought this palette like just being honest i wanted a palette that i could just grab off the shelf and use throw a color in my crease and blow it out and put one of my beautiful multi-chrome or duo chromes on my lid with so that's why i bought this and i haven't even had this that long i bought this a few months ago and i need to try it out i hope that they're not trash because if they are i would be mad <laughs> but yeah that's why i bought it just so i can use it with 
my uh, duochromes and multi-chromes without having to pull or even think about what palette to use with my shimmers. Now these last five palettes are, are these my most recent Beige Cosmetics purchase? I think so. These are from the Ice Cream Shop collection. Oh my gosh, you guys know these palettes are gorgeous, bomb, beautiful, and they aren't going anywhere. Um, and I wouldn't even say, oh, why don't I use them? Because quite honestly, they're so new to my collection that, honey, I'm going to use them. <laughs> okay, I just have to remember that I have them because what what <laughs> okay what and these are like the best palettes that bitch cosmetics has ever done i'm sorry i don't care what anybody says they have to be because these are top-notch quality palettes oh they're so beautiful and i love them to death if you haven't checked out my swatch party or my video using which one did i use you guys was it the cherry on no it was a cotton candy i used the cotton candy <laughs> But this one is the bubble gum, which is the blue. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. This one is the cotton candy, which is the one that I used. That look was so freaking colorful and so freaking bright. I was like, oh my goodness, this is just out of control, out of control. But yeah, that is gorgeous. The Sweet Shop Pistachio. I think this is the one that people wanted the most, the green one, because it's just oh, so gorgeous. The cherry on top this one I need to use this because I really don't do red eyeshadow red eye looks and stuff I have a few I've done but this right here with these shimmers oh my goodness honey child I have got to use this palette it's so gorgeous and then the last one the orange sorbet even this is pretty and I don't really do orange like that but this one is gorgeous as well. So I, I don't even need to ask myself why I don't use these because I know it's just because they're not in my face every day. If they were in my face every day, I would be using these every day because they're so, so gorgeous. So yeah, that is all of my Beach Cosmetics palettes, you guys. I honestly, I have enough. I don't feel like I have like a lot, a lot, but I have enough. And quite honestly, the ones that I really feel bad about, I would say, are the Zodiacs because they actually get really good reviews, so I really should be using them. The Carly Bible, I feel the worst about because I never should have bought that, so that has to go. The Festival, I don't know. That, that'll probably make it through one more declutter, but then it'll probably be going after that. This one here, the Fairy Lights, that's probably going to go. The Lavi Dunn Prince. It's pretty. I think I just need to try it, right? Let me know in the comments, you guys, if you have these palettes, if you use these palettes and you're like, that's a great palette. KK, that's bomb. Use it. Or you might be like, you know what? You did waste your money. Go ahead and get that off your shelf so you can make space for something else. <laughs> just let me know in the comments because really, I really am curious. These palettes, I really, really love. The 16 pan palettes and like I said, the Trendy in Tokyo. Cannot go wrong with that. These little palettes here, definitely getting decluttered. They're cute and all, but I'm never going to use those. Those are just too freaking tiny. And the It's My Ray Rays. This one, I think, is definitely going to go in the next declutter, but I'm going to put it with my face palettes for now. And the colorful one, I'm going to try and hold on to it, but it's probably going to go too. <laughs> So that is it you guys for my BH Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes and me kind of going through them and trying to figure out why I don't use them. I don't know. That's, that's a lot of reasons. Okay. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Toodles.